Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. Welcome to my, yeah, basement. <laughs> Sorry for the mess in here. Uh, yeah, I need, I, I will get some more space soon. This is gonna be like five times bigger and I obviously need it. So yesterday night I've built my first motor mount. I'm not happy with it. I actually broke one screw. I, I'm pretty pissed, I, it just happened actually. I'm pretty pissed about this. And the second thing is, I want the motors to be on the other side and I just can't do it with these mounts. I tried everything and you know, it, it, would, be, it would be like this, but it's gonna touch the, the board and if I use razor pads, it's gonna be this high and I, I just, I just hate it. I just hate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Actually, if you want this, I will sell it for a really good price. I kind of want to start over and get everything from Torque Boards. We have Hot Motors, which just came out. I'm pretty happy with these. We have a lot of gum around it. And I believe they will be, yeah, this is gonna be the new standard for a lot of boards on the market. I got that from Ownboard. I'm gonna build this with a 10 s 4 p battery, which I have in here. Let me actually open it real quick. First couple of, um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> First couple of black cards. We now use another one though. We now use LG because I th we think it has more power. Yeah, next problem that I have, the CSC is so big that it just doesn't fit in here. But my hobby wing that I use have different cables so I will need to change them. I'm gonna use this one. You can see it with the pink batteries here. Uh, yeah, a lot smaller and a lot more space. I'm gonna use this one. I mean, I could actually, you know, take this battery apart and so on, put tape around it. But um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna use this for black car when it, when I'm, yeah, when I need one actually. Honestly, you don't wanna be my neighbor. <laughs> as long as the charging cable is long enough, I use like cobble binder just to put the cables a little bit together, make sure it's not too tight so you're not gonna destroy the cables. What I wanna do right now is I wanna silicone everything down. Oh, actually, before we do that, before we do that, the most important, we need to we need to check if it actually works. You're gonna, you're gonna try tomorrow when, when everything is ready and you're like, oh, <laughs> it doesn't work. Doesn't doesn't feel too fast right now. This is also gonna go to my used section. Even though everything is new, I'm actually gonna go for a ride. And if I go for the ride once, it's already used. Also have real pistols, which I which I use with with like this. But you don't want this everywhere. But you just need a couple of points. You really don't want this to move. Also the charger and the turn on button. I usually put a little bit of silicone on it, so it's not gonna release you know that's the most annoying thing if you just uh lose the, the turn on button or or you know the charger you don't you don't want that so yeah i'm done for now for today i can't do anything with it i'm still really bummed because that motor i don't know if you can see it, but it's so wide and next problem right now it looks like the bms is just too thick <laughs> So, uh, I'm thinking about something else right now, where I would just take the battery apart, actually take the, the BMS out of it, move the ESC further forward, move the, the BMS just right here. Um, I don't think there's a way out of it, because I already removed like the whole, the whole case from the battery. Actually, the battery was in here. We have the little cables here on the side that connects the, the, the cells. The problem is a little bit, you know, it was not built to have the, the BMS on the side of it. The cables are not long enough, that's the problem I have. So my idea is to cut the BMS out of it. So it's gonna have a little cushing around it, you know what I mean. That was the idea, so there's some space right now. And yeah, for now, I'm just gonna leave everything like this. All right, it looks like everything is dry and I already made some holes to make it whole. And for now, I'm not gonna use any silicone, but when everything is ready, when I think the motor is good and the battery is good, I'm gonna, yeah, silicone everything together to make sure it's 100% waterproof. Even though I think it will be enough like this already. I wanna see, oh, the grip tape. <laughs> That last part here, not perfect now. I used to do that on my skateboards especially because I think the grip tape holds holds up a lot longer like this. So in time, especially the, the small parts here are gonna 
gonna go away especially over here this one is even smaller so I may I make sure I you know slide it up a little or grind it a little bit so it's gonna at least stay on here like scratches on the side I can still take like a like a you know a sharpie and make it black again not a big deal but yeah of course if I would sell it as a new board I could never do this I would just cut it as nice as possible and would leave it yeah when I tested it yesterday I was like what freaking crap did I just build together this has no power but yeah it was the battery the battery was completely new and I simply had to charge it up completely it took me actually even though I had the fast charger the 3a charger um, it took me almost three hours so this is a 10s 3p battery and this is gonna go in my used shop today uh, or tomorrow and uh, yeah so far I think I think this is not bad <laughs> this is not bad this is much much better than I expected honestly actually I came up before with the idea to make a hot motor board for black carf because I think most people buy it for the look of it it's freaking cold I gotta be careful even though I wear the jacket like it could be frozen I could have frozen streets right now I'm trying to wear as much as possible the, I don't I don't like the ESC the ESC is like it, it comes pretty late like um, it has like a, a, a braking curve that's like that's like this you know and when it goes towards the end it, it's getting really strong it's like the Meepo board pretty much like you brake and uh, come on brake come on yeah and at the end it's like oh, okay <laughs> I, it's kind of smooth but I don't like it. it's kind of smooth well when it comes to acceleration oh my god that's that's really good man it's my first DIY board and I I think it's it's not bad it's not bad I mean kind of DIY though kind of DIY I mean on a hot motor you don't have to do much and, and the closer and everything I got I got yeah I mean it's pretty much plug and play honestly is it this is fast this is fast almost too fast yeah and without fleecy wheels at this moment um, but there's a lot of gum around the motor so it's definitely better than, than usual than with like if I like the wow go the small gum that's that's a difference right have no idea why it's so fast but yeah it must be the Ling Yi you see hey I don't know if you can tell but I'm insanely fast and I want to check it real quick with my app so the ground's a little bit too rough right here I'm not gonna do it right here it's, this is almost this is almost too fast man <laughs> this is literally too fast I'm still I'm still feeling like I'm accelerating so here's a little bump all right now I'm going full speed like this street right here is super nice full speed Let's see how much speed I get on this on this setup. This is, whoa! <laughs> oh, oh my God! Okay, okay. I yeah. Uh, the brake, the brakes are. Maybe I just have to get used to it. But when it, yeah, as long as you go straight. But when you go downhill super fast, faster than 50 kilometers an hour, you definitely need a proper ESC. Uh, not Ling Yi or anything, whatever this is, Maytag or whatever. Yeah, not enough, not enough Wesk or Hobbywing. I'm not gonna go for anything else ever. Wesk or Hobbywing, that's that's the point. I think I think it was not like over 45 kilometers an hour. Yeah, so the hill that I wanna test is right here and it has on the steepest part around 20, 20%, 20 a little more, 25. And yeah, I can already accelerate in here. It's not bad. 
Yep. Yeah, definitely Ling Yi, you see. So when I break, I only have one level and I'm fully breaking right now, by the way. So uh, it's, it's almost too steep, almost. I don't know why, I get up this hill really easy, but like the, the brakes of my small board, Fade board, are better than on this one right now, on this ESE. This is like, this is like Meepo board, you get faster and faster and faster. I don't know, Meepo also changed something in the ESE, so uh, don't take my word for that. It's just like the oldest that I tested, I don't know, they hopefully have done some improvements. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my first ever DIY electric skateboard. I think it's fast. The brakes could definitely be better. I mean, I'm braking completely right now and I can move them with two fingers. Yeah, the brakes are horrible, honestly. There's still a lot of small stuff that needs to be better. For example, the holes right here for the cables. Yeah, that's I'm definitely gonna make that better. Yeah, I actually hope that someone's gonna buy it, which is like a DIY skateboard builder who would say, okay, um, I would I would change something here and actually put a proper wesk in it or something like this. Well, I have wesks here as well. I could, yeah. I, yeah, it just depends on who wants it and if 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 you, if you have like a special, if you want wesk on it, I can, I can actually do it for you. Uh, yeah, that's possible. All right, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.